Terra's Park boots are one of Terraria's longest crafting chains, but are they worth it? First of all to start the process of getting Terra's Park boots, you will need to obtain a form of Hermes boots, these can be found in gold chests, with counterparts like sailfish boots in fishing crates, flurry boots in snow biome, and dune rider boots from the underground desert, these boots run at a base speed of 30 miles per hour. For the next requirement you will need to have beaten an goblin army and obtained the goblin tinkerer, you need the rocket boots. And the tinkerer's workshop, once you have the rocket boots combine them with your Hermes boots to obtain spectre boots, these boots will still run at 30 miles per hour but have the added function of being able to use short flight. Next you have to obtain the lightning boots which require your spectre boots and two other accessories, this being the aglet found in surface chests, and the anklet of the wind found in jungle ivy chests. Combine all three at a tinkerer's workshop and then you have the lightning boots, which increase your speed to 34 miles per hour. For the final item in this crafting tree you need to find ice skates from ice chests in the underground ice biome which allow for greater mobility on ice, add these to the lightning boots to craft the frost spark boots adding the ice skates feature on top of the lightning boots. Now for the other half of the boots you have to obtain 4 accessories being water walking boots from water chests and seaside crates, obsidian skull which needs 20 obsidian to make it a workbench, a lava charm which spawns in at a 2.5% chance in chests at lava layers, in other words Terraria hates us, only other way to obtain is fishing in lava for hell chests and to fish in lava you need even more items and certain critters to use as bait. Finally the obsidian rose dropped from fire imps at a low drop rate in hell. Combine either the obsidian skull with the water walking boots or the obsidian skull with the lava charm and then combine the remaining accessories to create the lava waders, lava waders allow for many extra abilities, you can walk on honey, water and lava, you no longer take damage by blocks that burn you such as meteorite and hellstone, and you are immune to lava damage for 7 seconds until it begins to damage you when submerged in lava. Once you have the frost spark and lava waders, combine the boots at a tinkerer's workshop and craft your terror's park boots. So are they worth it? In reality it's all up to you if you believe it was worth all the time it took to craft the terror's pack boots. If you only want them to be able to run fast you only really need to upgrade to the lightning boots for the maximum speed output of 34 which is the same as the Terra's pack, but if you also want safer travel the Terra's park boots are definitely worth your time thanks to the very helpful effects especially when it comes to fire. Something also great about Terra's park boots is the fact they can be obtained pre-hard mode making for a very good accessory against the wall of flesh and onwards into hard mode, whilst making the exploration in hell feel a lot more safe. Thank you for watching and please let me know in the comments below what your opinions are on the Terra's pack boots and if you feel they were worth your time. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications or I will arrive in your walls. Llllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllllll